Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to this tutorial series on Django. So in this one, we are going to be building a complete project using Django and JavaScript. So for those of you who don't know what Django is, so Django is a web framework for, for Python that enables you to easily create powerful web applications. So we are going to be building out most of the common features you'd find in real world apps. So for example, we'll do, of course, we'll do like the CRUD operations here. We'll set up a Postgres database for our website. You can see we'll be able to do like Ajax search for, for our data. See, we'll do like pagination for all our data. And then I'll show you how to integrate charts, the chart JS library to graphically visualize this data in a way that can be easy to understand. I'll show you how to do like work with data actually so pulling this data from the database and then formatting it in a way that it's going to make a lot of meaning for on the user interface so for example here you see we are showing out like expenses in the last three months so we have a comparison of the of the last three months so you see we are going to be able to do like some logic to find out how much was spent in the first week of this month of the other month even of the third month and then we are going to be able to visually like visually lay them out on, on the chart like this so it's, it's going to be like quite intermediate in one way or the other but then if, if, if you manage to stick around and complete it it's going to teach us a lot about data structures in python and how to think about the common problems because this is what most apps will will require so you see we have uh, an authentication system built out here so users are going to be able to sign up via username via email they get an email verification link so if if they forget their passwords they are going to be able to to reset their password so for example i could come in here and put in a use an email and then it should send me a password reset link then uh, I'll show you how to do like Ajax calls to the server so you can validate the username in real time so we don't wait for a user to send a request. So these kind of things are the things you would normally find in, in real world apps. Then I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Let me first actually come back in here so we can take a whole tour of everything. So here a user will be able to create, to create uh, like records. I'll show you how to work with the file system, the OS module to, to like work with JSON, pull out files, pass them, read from them, and then close them. So it, it's going to be a lot that we'll cover here. So users are going to be able to like create expenses. So for example, I can come in here, choose a currency. Let's say, let's say it can be any currency. So this can be description. Let's see. Save that. Then you see we have these fresh messages to to validate user input before we save it. And then you see we are able to persist the data even when we have errors here. So let's see. Let me just get the dates here. Maybe it was 25th that we did this expense. If I save, now you can see that it's saved. And then. Uh, it's added here. I think as you can see, it's it's here. Then of course we can edit it. And then of course now when you come to the editing, you see these details are pre-filled, so you can just edit and then we'll be able to like remove it. So if I remove this one, we get this dialogue. And by the way, guys, we are using Bootstrap for the UI because we won't be focusing more on, on the UI, we'll focus on like the Django stuff. So that's why we are going to use bootstrap on here so you see if i delete it it's gone and these charts of course update update accordingly you can see that this is now changing okay so if if, if i show you about the income we'll be able to to like record our income so here you can come in and add like a new record maybe we made like like uh, 5k maybe from a uh, business let's say uh close the deal but really you can customize this to 
to any type of, of like record you want to keep. So the knowledge you learn here, of course, will be transferable to anything else that you want to build. You see, I, I'm not sure if I've mentioned about like searching the server from here, doing an Ajax search. As you can see, we can search through multiple records. So we can search by date, by any any attribute that you see about about an income. These are the things that mostly you will find in, in real world apps. And just learning them from here will give you a, a solid grasp on how to to attempt those problems that you find here i have something called summaries so this is where we're going to go in depth with like getting data formatting data you learn more about all those python utility functions like mapping reducing filtering so it's gonna be very interesting if we stick around so you can see we are going to be able to like look at look out for that all the records in the current year and then we are going to graph them accordingly so here you can see in apple we sum up every income we got in apple and then we, we return this and this is going to be for, for all the months so you can think about the logic that goes into that i'm going to be going over everything from a to z with nothing left i'll show you like the thought process that i usually go through to come up with something like this hopefully some of you guys can, can like get an idea about how to go about solving problems like this so here it's, it's basically the same thing but for the current week so if you kind of think about it we are looking at all the data we have but then we want to like filter down to the current week and pick out what happened on monday tuesday all these records here we are going to learn about how to get this data in a form that the ui will, will. We'll do the same thing for the expenses and then notice that we have like loading indicators when the user's network is like quite slow. So if I could throw to my network, so I'm going to turn online to slow 3G and then try to reload this page. So this will 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 show like if a user is on a slow network, this is how it's gonna appear. So now if I go here, like here, you can see that uh, the, it shows the user that something is coming up until it comes and then it goes away. So we'll do all that stuff using JavaScript. It's going to be a lot to learn on this one. I hope you guys will stick around and you will learn a lot from it. But also planning this up on the way we are going to build it. I have laid out like the project here on this uh, on this app called Pivotal Tracker. So I'm going to be following this to implement the features. And then of course I'm going to be posting all the code on GitHub if anyone needs to to look at it and compare with the one that you have hey, and by the way guys i didn't mention about uh, one of the most powerful features that we have here in django that i'm going to cover in depth which is the the django admin so i'm quite fed up with the <laughs> my internet speed let me quite take it back to normal so we can actually save some time so let me go back to the first 3g and then if you go to the admin section here, you can see we have an admin area. I'm going to show you how to customize everything. Of course, this is not uh, the default one. I'll show you how to use like, custom colors, custom logos. So let me log in here. So, so you see now when I log in, we learn about how to customize everything that you see here. I'll show you how to add things like uh, these, these details here. Search, add, adding which fields to search for, search by adding everything here using something called the model admin so it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be it's gonna be overwhelming but i promise if you stick around you will get to learn a ton from it so i think i'm, I'm gonna be stopping the video here i will come back and we start it off by create setting up Django. so with that said if you like this kind of content please subscribe to the channel so you get and turn on the notifications so you can get notified when i post a new video about this kind of thing i hope you stick around and will learn and i'll see i'll see you in the next video